magnetic lines are very useful to organize your annotations clearly. In this example, we can see how the balloons are all aligned based on the orientation of the magnetic line. This magnetic line works just like magnets on a refrigerator. You can take them off the magnetic line and place them wherever you'd like. And if you need to put them back on the line, they magnetize or snap to the line indicated by the red magnet. In the past, only balloons were able to take advantage of this magnetic line functionality. But now, in SOLIDWORKS 2026, annotations including notes, weld symbols, geometric tolerance symbols, surface finish symbols, revision symbols, and more can all take advantage of this functionality. Let's see it in action in this two-minute tech tip. Taking a look at this drawing file of this bracket, we have a part that is all dimensioned out and annotated. In previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, if I wanted to align these loose annotations together, I would have to try my best to align them, which isn't always the easiest thing to do. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2026, we can use a magnetic line to create that fridge effect that will allow my annotations to snap to that line. You'll notice in the property manager of the magnetic line, we have options on how we'd like to space these annotations. We can choose to space them equally, which will automatically space them and they could be rearranged by dragging and dropping. Or you could set it to a free drag, which will allow you to place these annotations anywhere along the magnetic line. Thanks to this new functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2026, our drawings will now be clearer than ever thanks to the new enhancements to our magnetic line tool. Our annotations can now be automatically aligned, spaced, and rearranged to ensure the viewer can clearly see all annotations. To learn more about drawing annotations, check out our SOLIDWORKS drawings course and our additional tech tips to learn what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2026.